Hi guys, this is Kushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In the previous video, we saw the third rule for method overriding. Now, the next rule for method overriding says that the overriding methods must have the same return type or its subtype. Now, this is a favorite interview questions that you might be getting in a twisted manner in the interview rooms. So let's see this in detail. If the overriding method has a subtype as a return type, that is called as a covariant return type. The interview questions that arise in this particular rule are like whether you can change the return type for overriding methods or not. Or more specific questions like whether I can have a string as a return type in the parent method while a string builder as a return type in my child method. Would that work in overriding or not? Or simply what is a covariant return type? So this kind of questions are going to be asked in the interview room. So let's prepare ourselves. Here is a hierarchy of classes that we have under the object class. So as we know, the parent class of any class is an object class. From that are derived the primitive and non-primitive type classes. So till this character, we have all the primitive data types and these are non-primitive data types. In the primitive data type, we have a number class and then we have these wrapper class that wraps the primitive data types like byte with a small case b, short with a small case s and so on. So over here, we can see that the number is the super type or the parent class for these types. So in overriding in the parent class, we can have number as a return type while child classes can return any of these types and that would perfectly work with overriding. But what happens when you do a string and a string builder overriding? Since they are on the same level, we cannot do so. Let's see this with an example. So over here, this is the animal class, which is a parent class. And we have a dog and a cat class that are the child classes for the animal class and are overriding all the three methods from that particular class. In this class over here, I am having string as the return type. And similarly, in my child class also, currently the return type is same as that of the parent class. Now, let me change this to string builder. As soon as I do that, I am getting a compile time error saying that says in the dog class clashes with says in the parent class that is animal class, which is attempting to use an incompatible return type. That is both these return types are not covariant and are not compatible. But what happens if I use an object over here? As soon as I use this object over here, my return type error is gone. The only error that I'm having here is that I am returning a string instead of a string builder over here. So as soon as I return this, everything seems perfect. And so this is an example of covariance in return type. That is object and string builder would be a covariant return type, but string and string builder wouldn't be covariant because they are in the same level of object hierarchy. Now that was about the fourth rule of method overriding. What is covariant return type and what types can you use in your parent and subclasses? So that's it for this rule guys, but stay tuned and keep learning.